How's it going guys? Welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. I'm gonna try and do this in nice long episode chunks to get through it. I originally thought it was gonna be close to like 8 hours. It apparently might be somewhere closer to like 12 or something like that, somewhere in that range. So it's gonna, it's kind of a longer game than I was expecting. So I just want to limit the delay between enjoyment of what to me so far seems like a very interesting, exciting game. So we had just left off here realizing that Cintra Corp is horrible. As if that wasn't apparent much earlier on in the game. It was like fully driven home very recently. Uh, and so we just had to log into the computer was the next thing we had coming up. I've never used one of these machines before. You've never used a computer? Huh. Yet another strange part of this world that, like its class system and everything, I guess computers are a technology reserved for the upper class? Some trippy shit. What? I might have accidentally cut things off right before a major piece of plot development. <laughs> what is this place? Could it be another trap? Did you get sucked into the computer? And now you're hanging out with, like, uh, Mr. Pasternak. With what would it be, Vaporwave aesthetic stuff? Like, like David's head and things like that? Like, what is going on? Also, also the android lady. Another freak! That's probably the safe assumption. I need to get out of this nightmare. Based on the fact that this robot character is in the, uh, like, Steam page thumbnail and stuff, I assume they are not necessarily an enemy. But, uh, I wouldn't blame him for assuming that's the case, because, like, why wouldn't you? You've already seen some shit today. Why? Why are there all these, like, marble statues and stuff just floating around? Hello? It's a cute little character. Kind of not creepy at all. Now, in this view, she has eyes like Kip from Futurama or something and has ears like Mickey Mouse. Looks a little creepier, but the little pixelated version, not very creepy. Mr. Pasternak. I don't know if it's stern or like encouraging or what the tone is there. Welcome to Centricorp. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna kill me? Remain calm, I will not hurt you. What, what, what is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. Hmm, what do you know? The namesake of the corporation, presumably. Probably not the other way around. I'm in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what's this uh, green world? A second ago, I was in the office. You are connected to Cintranet, our corporate interface. Here, you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. That sounds like things that would be very relevant if people at this job worked. It doesn't seem like they really work. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. I guess I'll read it? Is it, is the font size proportional? Like size 12 font and then all of a sudden it's a three foot tall letter so each letter is like the size of my head. So it seems like it would be very difficult to read or even just hold because you're like physically wielding it I'm imagining. You kind of like are interacting virtually here. Welcome to Citra Court, Mr. Pasternak. I'm getting hung up on the wrong things. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. I hate that they ruined the alliteration there. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. That's very encouraging. You seem like a lovely, sentient android. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. I plan to be agreeable. I think putting up a fight for this job is not worth the risks. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Oh, well, actually, it was so long, and there were a lot of unfamiliar words. I kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine, jurisprudential, jurisprudential? That word feels made up. My vocabulary is not the strongest in the world, but that is tripping me up to the point that I am completely lost. But anyways, doctrine, currently enforced. The job applicant, applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting this stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary cla clauses within the document indefinitely, or until termination of contract. 
If you read part of this at least, this contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of a trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. Excuse me, could you tell me my responsibilities directly? Less of the mumbo jumbo. Of course, the focus of your work at Citricorp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. Shit, that's actually my personal job? That's not just like a weird thing that was going on in the office. It's not a result of like some weird uh, class or hierarchy struggle that's happening, like some turf war within Citricorp or something, that's actually, that blood on the wall was my job description? I wasn't given a lot of reason to believe that was part of the contract. What? Exterminate the creature called it? Yeah, I heard you, but I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. I thought she was gonna correct me and be like, not to kill a witch, no, 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 of course not, just someone named witch. Or somebody who has witch as a title. Nope, it's pretty on the nose. I don't think there's any rethinking it here, Brian. Okay, okay, look. I'm not sure what's going on at this company, but I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. Yeah, all is as it should be. We hate witches. You're totally disposable, it doesn't matter if you die, you're very unimportant. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hex and Hammer. Ooh, that sounds cool. Alright, I'm back on board. I want Hex and Hammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish back my explanation and I will show you the way out. Carry on with it. Thank you. Due to the lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hexenhammer, a witchcraft treatise written in the 15th century, oh it's not actually a hammer, that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches? Centricorp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. How'd you guys get a hold of it then? Or you know the location, you don't have it. According to the most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that it be you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that for retrieving the book, you will be provided with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Oh, <laughs> hey, Sintra. Look, thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. I'm sorry to hear you say that. You're free to leave at any time if you would like to disconnect from the system. Please activate the output icon. Yeah, but like, presumably we'll lose our pay, we'll end up in like a worse class ranking than we were even before and they'll murder my family or something, right? Like, there's gotta be strings attached. This. Feels like very much a not a string free situation. I hope you'll reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Can you tell me about the book again? Your task is to get the thing that's on the seventh floor. Is it a normal book or will it be some sort of dangerous book shaped monster? According to my records, it is a common book. Hmm, I'm not sure I believe you, but. Okay, it doesn't seem that complicated, I suppose. As of this moment, you have made no progress toward completing this task, sir. I encourage you to begin working as soon as possible. A productive worker is a happy worker. In that case, maybe I'll get a move on? Uh, what do you wish to talk about? The witch? What are you? Responsibilities? I want to know about Sintra first. Hey, you, I mean... What are you, exactly? I'm an artificial intelligence created in 1973 as a promotional image for Citricorp. I was later incorporated into its computer system as a guide and companion for the workers. 1973? I thought your technology would be more... modern? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, that could have been when her image was made. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's when she was made into an entity that exists in the network. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Pasternak. In any case, I hope that my mature experience can help guide you to the successful completion of your mission. Let's hear more about the witch. Can you tell me more about that witch? 
We do not have much information regarding her. All there is, a, it is a her. Although there are indications that she has been living within the building for decades, tangibly affecting the company's business development. It's totally Sosa. Because of this, Sinter Corp devised an eradication plan and began hiring specialized witch hunters, like Vin Diesel. But I'm not a hunter. I only just finished basic education a month ago. Do you think this could be a mistake? The company conducts a rigorous assessment of its candidates before hiring Mr. Pasternak. I can assure you that the margin of error is minimal. But I don't know anything about witches. That is why your first task is to locate Hexenhammer. This treatise on witchcraft will help you achieve your goal. Do not doubt yourself, Mr. Pasternak. The company has complete confidence in you and will support you however it can. Give me like a crossbow or some steaks or some garlic or you know things that apply to witches rather than vampires that would be a good start something to hunt with perhaps if you would like to review information regarding the status of your current tasks proceed to the desired icon and i will ref uh, inform you probably just like the little mail the mail thing here i kind of want to just wander around like the edges of this and see if i can interact with m my cool modern art you can fully wander into the darkness, but there's a wall, like, a centimeter beyond. This feels like the sort of game that would be rather secret-heavy, so I'm, I'm going to be a little bit explorative a as I'm going through it, but I'll try to, you know, make sure I'm progressing the story. I'll probably end up doing, like, a secrets video after the fact, so I won't get too caught up on that during the actual playthrough. Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related, related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. It's going to come up at least once, and I'm probably going to have to decide on the fly. I'm going to try to commit... I mean, I'll have to decide in the spot if they feel trustworthy for some reason, but I'm going to try to commit to not telling anyone. Because probably, I'm guessing so far ahead here, there's probably a character at some point that I will be able to tell, and, like, it won't uh, result in them ratting me out or whatever, snitching on me. Snitching? Witch snitching, perhaps? But presumably I'm a ways away from anything like that coming up, so I'll, I'll worry about it when it comes up. See you soon, sir. So polite. So immediately I'm supposed to go to the library, but I do kind of want to just poke around the tiniest bit and see if I can find witch paper. It's weird that I save using witch paper, because that seems like a thing that witches would do, you know? <laughs> I can't unplug the computer. I thought that would be kind of funny to mess around with. I, I feel like I already kind of gave this a thorough ex uh, exploration. I do like the dedication to carrying the briefcase everywhere. Hey, have you already connected to the system? The computer's a little old, so maybe you have some outdated software, but it should be all right for the basic stuff. Did you find out what your responsibilities are? Uh, I was hoping it would immediately bring up the possibility to, like, try branching dialogue options yeah well looks like there's some assorted chores if you can call killing a chore uh kill you have to kill somebody no 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 kill time oh <laughs> i see that you've got the hang of it now you're already thinking about lazing around aren't you yes well actually i'm not sure i'm cut out for this job oh why not here in the big city, everything's so much faster and just different. I was thinking I might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it. Man, don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack, chill for a while, take it easy, it's your first day. And also probably take it easy for the rest of the entirety of the time you work here, I think was part of the, uh, the subtext there. Uh, hello? We're gonna move right along. That's probably the extent of uh, what I need to discuss with Sosa for the time being. I don't remember if I went into F, so I just wanted to give it a quick look. I've kind of already raided that corner there. Can I interact with these guys? Are they just gonna punch me around or anything like that? No, oh, nothing that aggressive. Credits! Dope. 80 credits, cheese and bread, 
I could go and make a grilled cheese. WC. Can I access this? Okay. Wash room? Hmm. How peculiar. Oh. I wasn't expecting the sudden cutaway like that. There's something kind of spooky about it. Okay, that didn't happen the first time. The laughing is the spooky part. The image itself is mildly spooky, but what the fuck? Oh, it's happening even, even outside of that. Let's just drown it out by turning on the, the hair or the hand dryer. <laughs> Nothing interesting. I'm not touching it. it sounds like Doctor Hibbert, but eviler. <laughs> Oops. Excuse me. Do you want a cup of my water? <laughs> I'm trying to get Doctor Hibbert's laugh. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I'm good. Uh, no. No thanks. I'm gonna carry on. Wet floor? Let's just take it slow. I don't know if anyone's cleaned this building for years. What if I run? Can I actually slip? It seems like no. This door is stuck. It won't open. This guy is really getting a kick out of himself in here, isn't he? Yes. Okay, but it's just regular water, right? <laughs> you got one cup of water. <laughs> there's no there's no distinguishing it. It's not like one cup of toilet water. No, just a cup of water. Cool. Cool. I'm going to avoid using that. Maybe I'll use it on someone else. If someone asks for like a cup of noodles or something, I'll happily make it for you and, and serve it up. I'm sure you can boil off any germs but I'm gonna try to remember that that's toilet water and I'm gonna try to not drink it myself at any point I don't remember if I went to every floor I guess you can't go to six so that's why I never went to six I didn't go to seven or above I don't think so the Sintra AI bot thing said the Hexenhammer book is somewhere in the library Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I kind of like the debate a little bit when I had the extra little bit of dialogue with like, is this a regular book? Is it a book shaped monster? And I, I think that was supposed to be Brian kind of being like, it's a thousand credits just to get this as a bonus. Like I could go grab this book, get the cash and then quit. He's like kind of starting to ease his way into it. And I feel like his uh, reluctance might start fading a little bit. It'll always be there, but it's going to get less and less the deeper in he gets. I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Everything, I'm sure, will be perfectly above board, organized, just like a regular old library. The screen reads, anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of Form R301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed with the reference code of Centricorp. All documentation can be found in the archives. You got the form. Okay. I didn't realize I was going to get a form at the station here. I have to fill out the, uh, the book data. Let's see. Title, year of publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. Hex and Hammer is, is the title. It's not like the genre. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, don't know where you're going to get the rest of that information, dude. I, I guess the archives, but like, really? In a uh, building that is being somewhat run by a witch, they're going to have a book in the library about killing witches and going to have it like carefully filed away and well documented? I don't know. Someone's ripped this painting to shreds. The plaque reads, in honor of the Blessed Virgin A.M. Hmm... Archives. Well, that was damn easy to find. There is a roped off door on like every single floor, isn't there? I'm very curious if those are going to become available at some point. Maybe I'll find scissors. <laughs> I can cut my way into it. Regular old, good old archives. Nothing spooky here. There's a letter here. It reads on this topic. I can tell you only the very little that I have discovered. 
They call them witch papers, and they can be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but that they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul. By photoco photocopying a soul, the spirit is saved. Should you do this before dying, you'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. Hmm, so when I photocopied my face on the witch paper earlier, it saved me? Seems really useful. I am now invincible. I will never fear consequences the rest of my life, because I know I can always go back to that moment. There's nothing interesting. There's another photocopier, but I haven't really achieved anything that I would warrant as being worth saving. It's out of ink. I need to replace the ink before I can use it. Okay. And I have... I have an ink cartridge. I could, like, bring this photocopier to life to save at. I don't think I need to save right now, and maybe another photocopier down the line would be uh, more prudent. Because I feel like there's going to be more photocopiers than there is ink cartridges. So even if I find 100% of the ink cartridges, it's still going to be like a limiting factor. So I'm not automatically going to activate and save every one I find. Mobile Archivers Room. Publication year, audio cassettes room, publishers, box store room. Oh, I see. So I have to visit a lot of different rooms in order to achieve all this. This is more complicated than I would have expected for a library. Mobile archivers room, the audio cassette room, and box store room. I don't have clever mnemonics or anything for like remembering that. Can I just get infinite water? Huh. Well, so much for keeping my toilet water separate from all other water. There's something immediately to the left there, isn't there? Oh, it's just mildly bloody. Looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Oh, but it's like an up arrow, right? So maybe not on the roof. Maybe down the hall is what it's saying or showing. Another ink cartridge. Okay, I still think I would rather hang on to it if I take like a really shitty death here or sometime soon. Then I'll have to rethink that strategy. But for now, I'm going to try and hang on to that. The letter here reads, everything is computerized now. Nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old owl man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I've seen something sinister roaming the bookcases. I believe you. They're unimportant. I, I have every reason to believe the random piece of paper I found on the desk. Yes, I found it on a corpse. You can't imagine the things that people keep in their briefcases. Yeah, it is very peculiar that I've chosen to keep my briefcase on me this entire time. There's so many folders that I, I don't even know where to start. Good point. I don't like that. I don't like the little exclamation mark, like, alert button. Because there is for sure, for sure, for sure a way to like release whatever this monster is or whatever I need to I need like more information oh fuck I can't just randomly go to any old bookcase I need to like learn some shit here oh another corpse cool 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 hmm raid the briefcase that's what that sign said is this Sintra does she have like little for some reason on the floor Lookout units? It doesn't seem like you'd have the best periphery or like range of viewing. Nowhere near as good as the roof. The Oh, there's multiple of them. And they appear to be like security eyes. What <laughs> what is that? Briefcase, please. Oh, more witch paper. And a copy of form R301. Wait. Axe and hammer? She was looking for the same book as me. Okay, we got one piece of information, but we also just guaranteed that they're just disposably hiring people to come and try and retrieve this book. That's why we're hired. There's no special qualifications. We're just disposable. I'm so much more intrigued, but so much more terrified. Nothing new, just a note in the author section. Oh yeah, that's not actually the author. That's just where I need to head to. So I can't go forward, presumably. 
Uh, and I just have to get to A2. Please don't have, like, a monster in there. It's going to, though, right? It has to. That's just, like, guaranteed. Hold the breath. Okay. There's an old folder here. Uh, like a, a alpha, alpha symbol, and like a really over-the-top pentagram. <laughs> Except it's like a septagram. Someone got really overzealous with their, their devil worship. Mm, so A7, right? It looks like some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another bookshelf. Yeah, I would say so. I think I solved it very uh, quickly. Now my confidence has soared, and I'm ready to never be scared by anything in this game. There's a folder that's so old, it's falling to pieces. There's only one thing in it. Um, so that would be B1. Yeah, okay. That's like straightforward enough. But now I have no clue how to advance, advance past... What did I just say that it was? I have to look at that again. Uh, B, B1. Okay, that's what I thought I said. Uh, oh, I don't even have to go, I don't even have to move stuff around. Oh, is that the folder on top of everything? I hope this is the last one. Come on. Upstairs? Or like straight ahead or something? Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. <sighs> well, how the shit do I get to that? i move you... And you... Oh, I probably have to push or carry a box over to here or something. I don't think I have... I don't have anything like that on hand. I immediately already have an idea of how to deal with this little section. If I zigzag... Oh, uh, well, that was my one and only idea of how to get past that. <laughs> that was genius, though, right? I thought for sure that would be how you get past the eyes. Do you know what? It's, it's gonna be one more. One more moved, and then I can do it. There! I'm a genius. Uh, oh, there is like an upstairs. Okay, but I want to like rummage around through some of this stuff first. Oh shit, I woke up one of the eyes. Centricorp Resurrects. It's a copy of a company magazine from 1973. The cover article has a picture of Sintra and reads, Centricorp returns with their new development plan in robotics and commuting. Computing? Commuting? Computing. Not, like, transit stuff. Maybe it's only bad if you wake up both eyes? Nope. No, it's bad. Okay. I was gonna sneak past it and try and grab whatever's on those shelves there, but it's not happening, and it's, uh, not worth it. Why? Why would you draw everything in the shape of a web and spiders and everything? That's so much creepier than actual webs and spiders. There are spiders painted in blood, because of course there are. Why the fuck wouldn't there be? <laughs> okay. I also see that there's something behind this. Yes, I was just curious. Triangle drawn in blood. Okay, so is it not necessarily an arrow telling me which direction to go or anything like that? Huh. Do I have to... Okay, yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and go back through there first while I figure this out, because there's a... presumably a step more to this. Yeah, yeah, you gotta move the B1 first. Oh, come on! <laughs> Crazy spider! Is that big... <sighs> like, did the game know I was gonna leave and come back? Like, that the second, like, no matter what, the second time you walk past that, it does that? Or does it only do it when you have, like, your bookshelves in line or what have you? Like, god damn. God damn it. Author, H. Kramer and J. Sprenger. They must be the authors of Hexenhammer. I'll fill in the form. Kramer and Sprenger. What a, what a dynamic duo those two were. They were, uh one of a kind. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so distracted by the weirdness of everything. Just gotta keep your bread nice and organized. Come on. Which one of these eyes is gonna blink? Because one of them is gonna do it. At least one of them. Nothing to say about it, Brian? Not gonna comment? 
Oh, cool, cool. There's a guy hanging from the rafters here. It's secured with a knot? No. <laughs> I wish I had could go back downstairs easily and turn on those lights. Because I don't know if I'm dropping him into like a pit or if I'm saving him. Ugh. I'm too curious. I want to know. Oh, this is a, a square this time, I think. Okay. So that's mildly different. Oh, and then th this is the tapes room. Oh, I could knock him down and, like, steal from his briefcase, probably which will have witch paper, probably which might also have a hint towards the next, like, step of all this. A fuse box with a fuse missing. And, oh... I probably could have just dropped the ladder and given myself that nice, easy, convenient way to and from the bottom to the top, but... Alrighty. Oh god, I almost ran straight through the bloody corpse pile. Take the long way, Brian. There's no rush. First things first... Wait, why did I grab the cardboard box? Could I have used it to climb up and reach the folder? Was that like an alternate option? Yeah, I wish I would have done that first, or seen that that was an option, but that's fine. Untied. <laughs> he splattered a lot harder than I thought he would. It was only a one-story drop, and he really... Uh, he didn't fare too well. But I'm for sure robbing that briefcase. It stopped. Oh, fuck. He woke up or something. I don't know what's going on. He's alive. Run, 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 run. I'm hitting the run buttons. As soon as it gives me back control, I'm fucking out of here. No, oh, come on. No, no. <laughs> Where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Take the ladder. It doesn't fucking matter. Take the ladder, dude. Take the ladder. No, 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 no. I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. The fuse is missing. Don't worry about the fuse. Take the ladder. Get the fuck out of here. Run straight to the side. <sighs> God. So I don't think I actually could have got caught in that particular situation. Oh, that's not where I'm going. I'm not going... Putting that one off. Not my next destination. We're going up top here to the non-bloody room first. That's my initial thought. There's no power to this room. There's also a photocopier. Do I have two inks? I have two inks. I'm so tempted to witch paper. Uh, I, I'm not doing it yet. I want to get a, a, a few steps further, maybe, first. We'll go to the, the wholesome-looking eye room. There's no power, and there's definitely, like, shit stumbling around. I say stumble around because I just read it, but there was definitely things banging around. Yep. I'm not going to stumble around in the dark for sure. I'll have to find out how to restore power to this room. Cool. So the game fully limited us to the one where the dead hanging guy crawled his way into. I hate that. Oh, um, triangle, triangle, square, right? Yeah? That's... I that's the order I encountered them in. That's the only reason I can think that that would be the order. Uh, were the triangles not facing the same direction? I thought they were facing up both times. I Oh yeah, okay, if I bring the mouse in. There's triangle, triangle, square here. Going bottom to top. Uh, I think I also saw another one. Wait, that might be the only one. Oh, here, here. So if you flipped everything upside down, there would be this one. Those are the only two that are two triangles and one square where the triangles are facing the same direction. I'm pretty sure. So three rows up and two in is what I'm what I feel like I have to go off of right now. I'm gonna interact with something randomly. Just these tapes have symbols on the labels, but they don't ring a bell. Three up and two in is my thing. Square, triangle, triangle. This should be the place. I'll take a look at the covers. Bingo! This one reads Hexenhammer. Cool. An audio file about witch hunting. Come on. He crawled into the cabinet? What the fuck? 
so did it not matter which one I clicked on? I was gonna get accosted by this guy no matter what? No, no, I'm a normal worker. What do you want from me? Why are you bothering me? Ah, uh, who are you? I'm so uneasy. I'm like queasy almost from uneasiness. I'm not a hunter either, like you. Hey, do you need help? You're bleeding, aren't you? Somebody offering help in this company is one of two things. A, rookie, or a liar. I started reading that like he was going to say A, a rookie, or B, a liar. <laughs> it still worked. I suppose I'm a rookie. I'm from the suburbs. I see. You're poor and miserable like me. I also came from the suburbs. I worked as an electrician, like my father and my grandfather before me. I suppose you really know how hard it is, how few resources there are. Where I'm from, from an early age, the only thing we want is to get out of there. I was happy, or so I thought. But when that red letter arrived, did you also get one? I see. Turns out that in addition to being a rookie, you are also a liar, aren't you, Hunter? No, not a chance. My red letter was different. It was about something else. But then you also? Listen, you seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? Ah, weird things on the ground. Uh, light? Ask him about something not witch, witch huntery. I'm trying to avoid that. Ah, uh, you told me that you were an electrician. Would you know how to turn the light on upstairs? There's a fuse missing from the fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal, so long as it fits. Hmm. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. You can get a lot of information if you look at them, uh, up close. Hmm, the tinfoil wrapper around the sandwich, right? Thank you. How about weird things on the ground? Do you notice those things on the ground which explode? Oh, those are mines. Shit. I've been caught by, oh, by several of those mines. Okay. Oh, shit. So is he all messed up because he's died several times and keeps witch papering himself back? Jesus. Do you know if there's any way of deactivating them? You mean to kill them? They're not machines. More like mutant spawn. I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. Nothing about the hex and hammer. I hope that you get well soon. I'll send a greeting. I'll send a card. Ooh, a pencil. Is this guy in every cabinet? Oh, it was totally a fake out. The fucking game wanted me to click on any cabinet but this one. That's so awesome. Oh, come on. That's really funny and really cool and really freaky. God damn. I thought there would be a, a like a tape player at the back of the room here. Shit. I really don't want to ask this guy about the, uh, the hex and hammer. I'm going to try and keep that to myself. Um, then hopefully I can figure it out without him. Uh, let's see if we can uh, work with the, the sandwich. The tinfoil sandwich. Look. Let's take a look. Cheese sandwich wrapped in foil. Give me the foil then. I just want, I want that. There's a fuse missing. Can I use? Perhaps if I use the wrapper. You got a cheese sandwich. Seems like it's working. I should turn on the power to the room upstairs. Perfect. We don't need to consult with that guy in the cabinet anymore. We're uh, in, in just fine shape now. Um, there's explosive thingies everywhere. Well, presumably I'm about to die a bunch, so I think I need to spend one of these and a photocopy. I'm really going to try and limit uses, so hopefully that's, that's like a decent one. I'm going to have to be mindful of where I end these episodes. Either I'm going to have to try and always save at the end, or I'm going to have to try to make sure that I didn't leave myself with too much stuff to replay through, and I'll have to make sure I do it exactly the same the, the second time around. But I'll think about that further when the time comes. For now, 
For now, I'm just kind of curious. Can you just cheese it through these? No, not a real option. And they explode multiple times too. You can't, you can't run once, get them to like uh, blow up a little bit, and then and then give it a second quick dash while it's occupied being ex exploded. It's uh, it's a done deal at that point. Can I hide? my eyes or something in in the box what the hell word oh it's, it did say withstand it looked like a made-up word i was hoping i could just cover my face or something and then they maybe they tried to look for your eyes and if they couldn't see your eyes it wouldn't explode or something oh, okay i was curious what the fuck was banging around up here i can get to the duct but it's closed and i can't open it barehanded a pencil perhaps how industrious are you, Brian? Clearly someone saw something in you if they hired you. Oh, it's something behind the door. I thought it was another possessed thing. I'd rather not know who or what is on the other side. This game has already kind of got me feeling like they're, how often are these fake outs gonna be? Oh, you can just pencil stab them. It's one of those mind things. Although this one seems to be dead. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pencil if it'll let me. Hmm. I don't know how you get close enough to one to stab it with the pencil. All right. I thought the pencils were gonna be for like filling out my uh, R301 form. Turns out they're for stabbing eyeballs. The video club. Hey, kid. Mind looking up, uh, looking at tape for me? Hi. <laughs> my name is Brian. Uh, I mean, uh, Pastor Knack. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, excuse me, could you? I'm listening. You don't need to shout. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name's Pasternak. Could I ask you about, uh, the weird things on the ground? Those mines, is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil. Yes. Do you mean that you use a pencil to kill them, or you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you. I'm watching the movie. Right, okay, thank you. I will try with a pencil. Have you heard of a book called Hexenhammer? No. Oh, I thought that maybe you worked on this floor and you could help me? No. Cool. I think I'm gonna peace out then. You're, you're, you've been a real great kid. Can I give you this? Uh, I want to look at it first. An audio tape, a cassette player is required. So probably not something this kid can help with. In that case, I believe I'm just going to move on. He didn't really provide me with any information I didn't already know. Mysterio. Oh, shit. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Not too close there. Use? Can't reach it. I have to get a little closer. Okay, so you can turn it red without it being totally dangerous or full-on explosive yet. Video player, I need a VHS tape. Is, does my audio tape count? A tape player, okay, yes. Then use. I wonder what will be on this cassette. I don't know, I'm not excited. Oh, it was one. I thought the first thing it said was why. Why is much more intimidating than one. Well, I'm glad you heard it so clearly. Six was the only thing I apparently heard clearly. God damn. I hated that. One, four, eight, six. That has to be the year of publication. I'll write it down on the form. Oh, good. I don't need to, like, retain that information. Cool. I say we get the fuck out of here. Just leave. The cassette turned back on and started laughing at me as I was leaving. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to deal with any of this. <laughs> Presumably I have to come back once I have like a videotape in hand though. Like I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's not over and done with, you know? 
I'm risking, I don't know how many pencils there are to go around, or if I need to, like, conserve pencil ammo, but I'm kind of risking that a little bit here, because I really want to know what's going on uh, in this particular spot. Right, I can't even remember exactly what my inclination is or what was compelling me to come back to this corner. I wanted in here a witch paper and two pencils. I kind of had to assume it would give me at least one pencil. Two for one trade-off is pretty good, and I got an extra witch paper, so that was definitely worth coming back for. Depending on what's going on in this room here, it was bordering on necessary. Like, I don't know how many of these things there are in this room and what the minimum number of stabbings... No, 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 don't worry about that one. Only worry about this one. There we go. Oh, come on. How are you not close enough, dude? It's already red. Come on, just do it. Oh, okay. The second is red. That should be close enough, okay? There shouldn't be any sort of, like... <sighs> Anything you need to actually worry about there. That guy didn't fare too well. I'm so curious what is in like these corners of the room that are harder to get to. Oh, see, over there seems important. Uh, I think I need to explore kind of this top region a little bit first. Can I squeeze between you two? Nice. Well done, Brian, my boy. Uh, I don't know if I should try and go for this cabinet. Like, I would for sure have to stab this thing to get to it. I'm not going to bother. It's not happening. Unless unless I get further through this and have, like, an excess of pencils. Oh, okay. Pencils are being delivered more than I was expecting. And presumably there's other sections of the game... Or not other sections of the game where this is like the puzzle that needs to be solved. So I'm going to not be too sparing with them. There's a financial article written from 1961. International banks recommend buying shares of the Citricorp group in the face of forecasts of higher stock market growth. Support the miracle of a small family business that is now at the top of the economy. Hmm. Didn't realize this was a family business at some point. It's It really is the vibe it puts off though when you think about it. A very dysfunctional family. A statement from Jay Sintra, founder and president of the company. I do not believe in luck. I'm not superstitious. The key is knowing how to take advantage of opportunities. So Sintra is the name of the like entity that represents the company, but is also the last name of the family that started the business. So they either committed to that really hard as like a branding decision, or based on any like horror movie I've ever seen, that is like their daughter turned into a computer or something. Olstein Verlag. This has to be the publishing house. I'm going to write it down on the form. Because it's the only document you found in the entire room, you assume it's the document? Am I going to have to run from someone? This is, is Hugo, isn't it? It totally is. In a weird frog costume making weird frog noises. What the shit's your deal, dude? <laughs> oh god why would he do that who was that okay this is a problem now I think I can make it out of here in the dark without blowing up god damn I wish oh shit okay so I kind of do I have to kind of hug these a little bit I'm I'm just doing this inches centimeters even at a time because I still want to go down to the bottom right corner because I still think there's something worth seeing down there. The like light effect of this kicking in and out is really cool. This is a terrifying, dangerous part of the game, but it is cool as hell. Okay, okay, I don't want to get too close to the section where that guy got blown up in like every conceivable way all at once. I kind of don't want to destroy any of these because they're providing the guiding light that I need to navigate what is going on here. I've reached a point of total darkness. I hate it. Oh, god damn. I, like, I totally lost track of where I was in the room. A VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Chrysalis. 
cool. So we for sure have to go put that in the audio club tape player, VHS player thing, right? Oh god, I didn't realize how little I had moved. <laughs> okay. I have... That, now that I'm not in total darkness, I have reference points to see how far I've actually moved. That was robbed from me when I was in the in the far corner there. I had no concept of where I was or how far I'd moved or anything. I'm flicking the light back on just cuz. Cuz that was stressful. That's everything. The form's all filled out. I think that I can get out of here and see if I can get into the library now. I think we got one more step to make, or stop to make. We gotta find out what's going on with this weird invisible man, bandage face, dark man thing. I feel like I'm gonna regret it, but it might give us a clue as to what's going on with this Mysterio business. Chrysalis. Oh shit, we actually get to like watch it. October 19th, 1990X. So is this not a short film? Is this like a home movie? Cut their bandages. What the shit is going on? Was this actually like a film that the creators of this game had to make? Like it's not pixel art. I don't know what that was at the end. Video what? What did it say? I can't believe I'm watching this a second time. For sure gonna die in seven days with the little girl crawling out of my screen from watching this shit. Cut their bandages. That might be like a clue for later in the game, you know? So I'll keep that in mind. I took a screenshot and looked at it. It says, Video Club Mysterio. So it wasn't that informative. I don't have a clue what's going on with that. Uh, so now I can just go in, right? I have the form all filled out, all ready to go. Error? After all of that? It reads, Sintracorp seal needed. Sintracorp seal. Perhaps I should ask Sintra? I'll go back to my office and talk to her. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was going to say, are we going to go back and everyone's going to be dead or some shit? Miss Rustov, you're not looking so great, lady. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. How you been? Cool. You on your way to your office as well? Maybe this is the lady who's been out of town. Yes, because there's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh, no, there's no need. Thank you. He's delicious. Delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? He, if he's gone mad, it'd be best to just lock him up and let her take care of that nut, don't you think? <laughs> a pleasure. My name is Rustov. I work on the fifth floor. Pleased to meet you. Did you hear? I don't know. Hear what? Someone's written obscenities on a canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I suppose. Cool. I'm just gonna leave you be. Why? Are you still gonna be in here? That time she was less twitchy on her wig out as I left, but... Yeah, she's probably gonna be in it here already, right? She, like, beat me to it. I, I, God, no one's here. Hugo's off being a frog. <coughs> Hey, Sosa, what's up? Hello, Mr. Pasternak. This is like the most you've ever said to me. How are you? Are you getting on? Well, uh, but I, I'm getting by. The keyboard and the computers and that. The mouse. Click, click. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Ah. So, do you already know what your responsibilities are? Uh, management of administrative enumeration, prosecution of... Uh, no, notary management of members. Ah. Hey, what about Hugo? Hugo! I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? Uh, he left a while ago. Why? Why? Nothing. Forget it. What you got going on, Sosa? Hey? Yes? Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her... Ruslov or whatever just mentioned it, and presumably it's the witch, but I don't really know. Yes, you already know. I I don't. Of the... Witch... Um... No, 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 it doesn't ring any bells. Well, you have to be very careful, Pasternak. You... you know something about this? Whoosh. 
too careful. She's everywhere. This company's like an apple that fell from the tree, Pasternak. What do you mean? It looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She is the worm that lives inside it. And if it catches you, if she catches you, you'll become one of her children. What? Is that just Ruslov? Hugo! Hugo is back! No more frog mask? Well, hello you two! Am I interrupting something? What are you two doing up in, in this corner? I added like six words there on accident. Pastor Dak, do you already have the goth club card? Goth club? Sosa loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Mysterio. I wonder... I wonder if you... That would still come up if you hadn't found a VHS tape. Like, I don't know how much the story evolves or changes based on what you do. Careful, she might kidnap you and take her to her secret lair. Ha, huh, there's only two members. <laughs> Okay, so long, Sosa. Thanks for ruining our conversation, Hugo. Way to butt in. How was tricks, Pasternak? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting the company? Yes, well, more or less. Hey, were you in the archives just now? Pasternak, it's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday? <laughs> Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're going to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Uh, well, we'll see if I'll still be here later. Work is very hard. Oh, come on, man. Cheer up. You have to stay. Everybody ends up staying. <laughs> I imagine his laugh had layers of thick sarcasm going on in there. Okay. We'll wait till we can speak in private a little bit more. Maybe later. Maybe. Uh, hey, Sintra. What's, what's up? Got any tips or tricks? I don't know if I hear a voice. If I do, it's very quiet and very distant. Without Sintra, I can't access the information. Still, still available there. I think I'm just gonna leave. I have to find. I have to find Sintra. I. Well, I don't know where the hell you're gonna look, dude. Behind the pillar. Behind the bigger pillar. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, there's a wall on the left-hand side there, but not on the right. You can just kind of keep running through. Alrighty then. How are you enjoying your swing? Good swing? Sintra? Wanna have a chat? I beg your pardon? Ah, uh, what's a swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Do you want to try it? Me? No thanks. Maybe later? I want to talk to you about that book you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasternak. To be able to access the library, you need to have the Centricorp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of Centronet. Thank you. Uh, what can you tell me about it? You already have the form with all the hex and hammer data. Use it to enter the library and then find the book. Hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety? Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of the company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people here helping out the witch? And you're not one of them? Correct. It is entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you were hunting her. But that's what the witch would want, would be for me to be on my own, right? Like, not seeking help from people? I really don't know if I should have talked to the guy in the cabinet, but I think it was wise not to. Hey, do you know anything about the, uh, children of the witch? I'm sorry, I have no records of anything named witch's children. Why do you ask? S someone warned me about them? Hmm. The witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree, with particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. Cool. That's probably everything I needed to know. I think I'm gonna jet the fuck out of here. Although, really, this is the most calming, least sketchy part of this entire goddamn game and world. No, oh, okay, the fact that you teleported there did make me, my skin crawl and jump a little bit, though. Because I was expecting it to be something much worse than it was. 
memo. We remind all new employees that the weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requested in meeting room C. Thank you. Motivational talk. At Centricorp, we believe in holistic approach to employee engagement and take a productive, pro pro a proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talks. I just like stroked out for a second there trying to correct m my phrasing. You got the form R301. In that case, I believe I should probably take a proper save. That was enough progress that was a solid 20 to 30 minutes since last time i saved i think and it's a good place to wrap up the episode there's something weird in my mind about an episode two being longer than episode one it shouldn't bother me it does for some reason but hey i like to find uh, convenient ways to maybe round out these episodes looking forward to playing more i'm more intrigued than ever this game is something pretty special i think i'm i'm so excited to see where it goes from here thank you all so much for watching i will see you again soon